Hello everyone, happy to see you here on my channel Hi Mathematics. Today we have really interesting, I would say like a relaxing exponential equation 8 to the x plus 2 to the x equal to 130. Right now we can easily pause the video or you can easily solve this challenge with me right now and we will check our answers here in just few minutes so it will be really interesting to check our answers and to check our solutions. So first of all what do we have right here? We have 8 to the x plus 2 to the x equal to 130. Basically we have all different bases, we have 8 to 130 but it will be really interesting and really great for us when we create the same base. For example, let's look at this 8, 8 and 2. Basically, we can write this instead of this 8, we can write 2 cube. Okay, so let's do this right now. Instead of this 8 right here in this first step, let's write 2 cubes. So we have 2 to the power 3 instead of this 8. And we raise this, of course, to the power x because we still have still have x and the same, the same. We have plus 2 to the x, okay, plus 2 to the x equal to 130. This is our first step. I hope you understand it. 8 equal to 2 cube. Let's write it right here. So 8 equal to 2 cube. Maybe someone don't understand what I did right here. So we change 8 by 2 cube. Really great. Right now we need to know, we need to remember about really interesting rule. It's This rule looks like that. When we have, for example, 8 raised to the power m raised to the power n, this is equal to a to the power m times n. Everyone know about it. But moreover, we can easily swap this m and n. So we can easily write it as a to the power n times m. And in the same way, we can change, we can change position of this m and n. We can write it as a to the power n raised to the power m because of this multiplication. Okay? So in the beginning we have m inside and outside. In the end we have n inside and m outside. It helps us a lot. So someone called this rule of interchange. So right now let's try to apply this rule right here. So we can easily swap these 3 and x places. Let's do this right now. So let's continue right here. So we have 2 to the power x raised to the power what power? We have 3. Okay? The next we have plus 2 to the x equal to 130. Really great. Right now, if you look closely, we have 2 to the x and we have 2 to the x right here. So it's a really great moment to write our substitution right here. So for example, let our 2 to the x equal to, for example, let's go with y. And one really important moment, y need to be need to be positive because we are talking about exponential function, which is always positive. So y is greater than 0. Right now, let's change it. So right here we have y cube plus y equal to 130. Let's do this right now. So we have y cube plus y equal to 130. And if you look closely, right here we don't have exponential equation, we have a cubic equation, so right now let's solve this cubic equation. First of all, let's bring this 130 from right side to left side. As a result, what do we have right here? y cube plus y and minus 130 equal to 0. There are a lot of approaches, how can we solve this cubic equation, but I'm going to show you this one. First of all, let's write instead of this 130, let's write 125 plus 5. It changed nothing, but in the same way it helps us a lot. So we have right here y cube, we have plus y and minus, instead of this 130, let's write 125 and plus 5. It changed nothing, yeah, basically. But if we look closely, 125 125 is equal to 5 cube, okay? So it helps us a lot because right here we have y cube and we will have like 5 cube, so we can group it. Let's see what will happen right here. Okay, we have right here y cube plus y minus 125, let's open our parentheses, 125 and minus 5. But as I told before, instead of this 125, let's write 5 cube. Let's do this right now. So right here, what do we have? y cube plus y minus 5 cube and minus 5 equal to 0. Right now, let's group our, cube to get, our cubes together and our first power together. Our cubes is right here, it's right here, and our first power we can easily group in another parenthesis. So let's do the thing right now. As a result, in first parenthesis, what do we have? We have y cube minus 5 cube. This is our first parenthesis. And in the second parenthesis we have plus, we have y minus 5 equal to equal to zero. Right now y cube minus 5 cube. This is our school identity, our school formula. We have difference of two cubes. So let's remember it. Let's learn this formula. This is not that hard. This is basic school formula. So what is the result? What do we have right here? y minus 5. And in another parenthesis we have y square, y square plus 5a, 5y, sorry, yeah, we have 5y and plus plus 25. Okay, really great. And right now, plus, right here we have y minus 5. Yeah, we have y minus 5 equal to 0. If you look closely, we have y minus 5 right here, we have y minus 5 right here, so we can easily factor this y minus 5. Let's do this right now. So we have y minus 5 
And in another parenthesis, we have this expression. So we have y square plus 5y and plus 25. And plus 1. From here we have plus 1 equal to 0. And right now, really interesting moment, because we have a product of two parentheses and a product of two parentheses equal to 0 when the first parenthesis equal to 0 or the second one equal to 0. So let's split it into two into two parts. So right here, let's split it. First of all, let's start with this one. Basically, we can easily add this 25 plus 1. As a result, we have 26. And we will have our quadratic equation y square plus 5y and plus 26 equal to 0. Okay, right now let's find our discriminant. Let's see what will happen right here. So as a result of a discriminant equal to b square minus 4ac. As a result, we have b square, we have 5 square minus 4 times 1 times 26. And I see right now that my discriminant will be negative. But let's see, let's say right here we have 25 minus, we have uh, 26 times 4, we have 100 and 104. And uh, when we subtract, we have right here minus, looks like 78, yeah, which is negative. So right here, this part with this parenthesis tells us that we will have right here two, two complex, complex roots two complex roots. So if you're interested in a complex root, if you wanted to practice it, you can easily you can easily find these two complex roots. But in the same way, you just remember, I want you to remember that we have in the beginning substitution 2 to the x equal to y. So the next thing, you need to plug in these complex roots right here instead of this y. And as a result, we need to solve this exponential equation. This is a little bit longer process, but if you want to practice, you can easily do this. So for me right now, I know that right here on the right side, we have two complex roots. Let's see what will happen right here on the, on the left side. We have y minus 5 equal to 0. Really, really easy equation. We have y first equal to equal to 5. This is our y. And as I told before, we need to plug in this y in this substitution, because I wanted to remember that right here we have 2 to the x equal to y. So we need to solve our last equation. So we have y equal to 5, y equal to 5, but 2 to the x equal to equal to y. So as a result right here, let's plug in instead of this y, let's plug in this 5, let's see what will what will happen. So we have our, our equation 2 to the x equal to 5. And uh, don't be scared about this equation. This is basic log property. This is basic log, log definition because we can easily write this part as x equal to log 5 base of 2 or in the same way we can write it as log 5 over over log log 2. Doesn't matter what do you prefer, this one or this one. This is this is our our answer. Right now you can easily see a graph to this question. You can easily see this uh, point of intersection because a lot of students uh, prefer this uh, geometric perspective. Yeah, when when they see this uh, point of intersection and they can easily see type of uh, of a function on the left, type of function on the right. As you can see right here, we have uh, on the right side, we have constant and on the left side, we have a to the x. So I want to rewrite it. We have a to the x plus 2 to the x equal to 130. So on the left side or the right side, we have constant right here. We have we don't know what, what, what is right here on the left side, but with the graph, Maybe you want to check it in math, math library, you can easily see this point of intersection. So let's write our final answer to this question. Let's write our final answer. Let's find our approximately answer. Let's do this thing right now. So first of all, our answer, our answer to this, to this question. So first of all, x first right here equal to log 5 over log log 2. And maybe someone interested in approximately answer our x right here approximately equal to 2.322. 2.322. This is our first real number root to this question. But don't forget about complex roots right here, okay? Don't forget about it, because right here, as I told before, we have two complex roots. So when we have two complex roots according to y, as a result, when we solve this question according to x, we will have two complex roots according to x. So let's write our, about, our information about x second and third is complex, complex roots. Complex, complex roots. For your exam, this is enough for you because uh, I don't think that I don't. Uh, sure, I'm not sure that your teacher need to uh, for you to find these complex parts right here. I think that this is absolutely enough for you. You solve this question. You have your real number root, and you have your, your you have information that you will have like two complex roots. So which is which is really great. So this is my explanation to this question. I hope you understand it. I hope you learn something new. I hope you learn. Um, I hope you remember a lot of uh, power rules. This is really important rule of interchange. 
chain, so really extremely important in our case, and a basic basic algebra. Not that hard, I guess, because we just remember about cubic cubic formula, about difference of cubes, and about about factoring. So this is a very basic school question. So I hope you understand my explanation. I hope you learned something new. If this video is helpful in any way, don't forget to like and subscribe. And that definitely help me out now for this particular video. Also want to say thank you everyone for your support, for your for your likes, for your dislikes. I really appreciate it when you leave your response down into the comment section. Thank you everyone for watching my channel. I try my best to make videos every day. So thank you for your for your support, thank you for everything. So take care of yourself and love math.